sir? Okay, good. I would like to introduce to you Miss Maria Kleinman, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Robert Kleinman. She begins our parade here today by singing America the Beautiful. You might want to stand. Maria? Start now. Go ahead. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plains. Amen. Maria, thank you very much. You see the uh, flashing red lights, you hear the sirens, and that means we're ready to go. So get yourselves seated, get yourselves comfortable. Uh, we've just been given the, uh, the awards for the trophies for the competing floats. We'll present them as those floats pass by. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Highland Sesquicentennial Parade. We're so pleased that you're here. And if you come here from out of town, and I know a lot of you have, just stick your hand out, introduce yourself, and I guarantee you the folks that live around here will make you feel at home. And for you people in Highland, as a, just a sort of casual neighbor and an observer, may I tell you that your city has never looked prettier ever before. You are all to be commended for your community effort. This is just a beautiful town, and by golly, you ought to be proud of it. How to give yourselves a hand. <laughs> 150 units in the parade. And the uh, pace of the parade as we see it here at the start would indicate that that's probably going to be about a two-hour parade. So I want you to be very comfortable. Uh, I hope you've already located your pit stops, just in case you need them. I want you to have an opportunity to really take time and enjoy and meet all these people who are here. My name's Bob Hardy, and I really appreciate the fact that you've invited me to do a little bit of the play-by-play -play here today. I am ably assisted at this microphone by a friend of long standing, another past potentate of Inod Temple, and a fellow who lives right in your own town, Bill Popkis. Well, Bill's going to help me with uh, some of the names and some of the changes that have been brought forth, as usually happen in a parade. There's always a last minute change or two. I'll tell you, we're going to have some political figures here. Uh, you can respond any way you like to. We're, we're going to have a number of police officers here. Uh, you can respond any way you want to to them, too, depending upon who wrote you the last ticket. And in general, we just want you to have a good time. Now, the Inod Shrine Temple clowns have been the ones who have preceded the parade, and they brought candy around to the kids. And as you look here now, you see fellas offering programs for sale these are the official Highland Sesquicentennial programs, and they list all the people in the parade, and it might not be a bad idea for you to buy one. They're 50 cents. And they're, yeah, they're only 50 cents. And the cars are by virtue of Tri Ford. So we'll give the sirens a chance to get going. Remember what I told you now about the uh, colors? What are we going to do? Stand and put our hand over our heart? And ladies and gentlemen, from Scott Air Force Base, overhead. <laughs> Colonel Rick Fowler of Scott wanted to be a part of this parade. And the uh, 
C-121 is what they call the Learjet in the Air Force. And that's the aircraft that has just passed over your head. We'll have three passes here today from the United States Air Force. And later on this afternoon, we're going to have a C-141. And again, our thanks to Colonel Fowler, who is Wing Commander at Scott, for bringing that to us. May we, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, present representatives of the state and Madison County Police Departments. Riding in the uh, Madison County car is our sheriff, Bob Churches. Bob, and I hope you uh, stick a hand out there and wave. In the uh, Highland City police car, Chief Bill Pierce. And he's the fellow who has worked so hard to put this whole package together and keep everything going good in the city of Highland. And we want you, we want you both to know, Bob and Bill, thanks for all the extra traffic help because Highland, Illinois is not the easiest place to get into and out of if you're not familiar. And we got a lot of St. Louis area folks here today. Thanks for the help. We appreciate it. And in the state police car, Sergeant uh, Robert Dunn, and Bob lives here in Highland. He was able to bring his group. Now we'll ask you, ladies and gentlemen, please to stand and take note of our colors, the Highland VFW the Highland American Legion Color Guard, along with the ladies' auxiliaries, the 50 state flags in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and salute as the flags go by. Thanks to the VFW and the auxiliary for a very beautiful float, especially with all those flags representing each of the 50 states of the United States. Isn't that beautiful? My neighbor did that. The American Legion presents its color guard and the ladies' auxiliary, and again, Here's our 121 overhead. Menace Madison Post uh, 307 likes to bring this vehicle up here. They call it a go get them when everybody's lost vehicle, and they've used it for that many, many times over the years, I can promise you. May we present to you, from Washington, D.C., the United States Navy Ceremonial Color Guard, established in 1931. They were and still are the official ceremonial unit of the United States Navy. We're pleased and proud to have them with us today. Did they look sharp? Sandy wants to say something to you. I think it's a C-21, not, I don't think it's a 121. On what, dear? That airport. C-21 and a 141. You said 141, but I think it's a C-21. I think. Is it? I've been looking at this. Look at these guys. How about that? How about that? <laughs>
How about a Highland welcome for the United States Navy Ceremonial Color Guard? It's back on. You know, these guys are giving a salute up here. There's nobody that's... Well, we got a few more. The veterans wagon. And I know we've got more veterans around than that but we certainly were able to get one anyway. Thanks for coming out. Illinois State Police Secretary of State. I know, it sure is. Ladies and gentlemen, the color guard from the state of Illinois, Secretary of State's office. Okay. Secretary of State Jim Edgar, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Jim, thanks for coming out. We appreciate you taking time to be with us. Thank you, sir. He was preceded by the Secretary of State Police Honor Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Legion District 22 Color Guard. Representatives of the POW MIA organization. Yeah, they're, they're saluting up here and nobody's returning their salutes. And there, those people aren't up here. Gentlemen, thanks for being here and thanks for representing all of you and your colleagues did. We'll never forget, I promise you. How about a hand for your Highland Bulldogs? Come on, gang, this is your marching band. You can give them a better hand than that. John Heath directs this operation. We got about 160 members in the Marching Bulldogs. And I'll tell you, every time we bring them to St. Louis for the VP Fair, they get nothing but applause, applause, applause. They've been to Disney World, they've been to Epcot Center, they've been on national television, they're here today to represent their hometown. 